all right what's going on everyone over here at my storage unit um just got done painting my kayak um ascend h12 it was bright white uh literally like the color of my shirt okay um and here we are not anymore um uh, so i hunted with it all last year with it bright white um didn't have any problems with it had the blind on it um, which covers everything the northern flight blind by cabela's um, so i didn't have any problems with it until um, we decided we were going to put these trolling motors on them over the summer right here um, and they're all powered by foot controls um, and then the trolling motor in the back sticking up that's going to block the blind so we decided um, for mine anyway i was going to paint it so I didn't have all that white sticking out. Uh, this is primarily my duck hunting kayak. Um, so I don't really care if it turned out great. Uh, I originally didn't plan on painting the inside, but I went ahead, had some extra paint, went ahead and just painted it. The inside takes a lot of abuse, um, so it's probably not gonna hold up too well. Um, but the outside hopefully should hold up good enough. I don't care to touch it up. Um, it's all just spray paint. Um, and then some clear coat, some matte clear coat on the end of it. And um, I got used a stencil kit that I got off Amazon. I'll put the link for that down below in the description. Um, it was like 10 bucks. Really, if you didn't even want to use stencils, you could just spray it one color and then use another color uh, or two and just some natural vegetation and stencils, make your own stencils. But like I said, they're only about 10 bucks, so they were worth it. Um, and if it gets tore up or anything, I can just, buy a can of spray paint for five bucks and touch it up real quick during duck season um, so let's see what products I use man so first thing I did with it um, I cleaned it all off real good um, then I scuffed it up with just a gray scuff pad got it scuffed really good um, wiped it down that I went through with acetone to clean all the debris and stuff and clean the plastic real good right here um, Went through with that cleaned it off wiped it down again, and then what I did just this rust-oleum camouflage paint um, One base coat with it with that color um, I actually did like three coats around the whole thing with just that color um, Came through with the darker paint and did um, like my base stencils with like the tree bark stuff and then I used the really light color um, I lost the lid to it but just a khaki um, just to kind of give another third element to all of it and then I went over it with matte clear coat um, went over the whole thing real good with clear coat to protect it so hopefully it'll keep it all from chipping off um, like I said little bits and flakes and stuff the white um, really won't stick out that much it'll kind of blend in with the camo especially since i added all those light little tidbits in with that khaki paint um, so hopefully that clear coat protects it enough keeps it from chipping up too much all in all cost me maybe 50 bucks in paint um, and a lot of sweat it's been really hot um, but she's ready now ready for some ducks like i said the only part that'll even be sticking out with the blind is this back piece right here um, just right through here where that blind won't cover and even then I'm not too worried about it that about wraps it up guys um, if you plan on painting your kayak it's a cheap easy way to do it um, it may not last the longest don't expect it to last a lifetime but um, it's not hard to do anyone can do it um, and it looks all right it's not too bad and uh, it should hold up for the most part like I said it's only a duck hunting kayak um, I do some fishing but it's mainly just for uh, shooting ducks out of so i'm not too worried about it um i got a great deal on it um, i got a buddy who's got one that he bought brown if you can buy one camo already i'd go ahead and pull the trigger on that um, i got mine 50 percent off for on clearance and all i had was a white one so i rolled with it and spent 50 bucks on spray paint a year later um, so i'm excited if you guys want to see a video on my troll motor and stuff i'll be posting that up here soon too so you guys can check that out as well um, and just talk about the kayak and the northern flight blind and um, 
I'll be making a few videos on how I hunt out of them and how it worked for me. I love it. It's a uh, super awesome, easy to get in places where big boats can't. And um, with this H12, I mean, you can get to all the big places that big boats can as well, especially with that trolling motor, super stable kayak, um, super fun to shoot birds out of. And, just really easy to use, really light, um, and just a great setup. Um, so yeah, if you guys got any questions about that, just drop a comment below. Um, I'd be happy to help you guys out. Uh, this will be uh, the first video on the new YouTube. Um, and then my plan with it is to just keep on posting videos of, um, you know, dog training, um, hunting stuff, kayak stuff. And then we'll be doing a lot of videos this hunting season, which we're only about a month and a half away from dove and teal. So, and then this duck season, hanging them out um, with the kayak. So, if you guys want to follow, um, you can follow me on Instagram, Flying V Outdoors. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel, stay up to date with all the videos I'll be pushing out. I'm gonna try and do at least two a week. And then you can also. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss a video, okay? Thanks, y'all.